She is going to personally cut up my license and find me $500. Up since like 2.30 again, I'm so sleep deprived. Like look, when I have stuff to do, I don't be wanting to look approachable at all. Hey. <laughs> Happy birthday. Woo. Birthday girl. Come on dad. I gotta be on the I-10 by 10. Who's party you still? <laughs> Good morning. This lighting is weird, so I'm gonna come closer. But um it's the weekend, y'all. It's Saturday morning. I am about to go to the laundromat to do some laundry and then um, get this weekend started. So this weekend, play by play before we get into it, today I'm heading up to Philly because tomorrow I'm going to New York and I'm riding with my friend who also lives in Philly, but she has stuff to do today. So I am about to hang out with my dad and we're going to this Q event, wake up, drive to New York in the morning, and then hang out with my friend for her birthday, and then come all the way back to Maryland somehow by Monday. Um, and then Monday, we are hanging out with Lauren. Y'all know Lauren. Um, but we're hanging out with Lauren um, as like a ode to summer. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go swimming, and I'm hoping that they're gonna be on the grill and stuff. Um, so yeah, that is my weekend breakdown. I'm driving up to Philly today, but before leaving, I have to do my laundry. And then I need to get my car washed. And I think that's it. I think that's all I need to do. So let's do that. Oh, I also need to clean up this house a little bit because dishes, you don't see them dishes. I need to do them dishes. Sugar, oat milk, shake, and espresso, please. Um, I'll do a grande. That's it. Thank you. Like, 
what was good with me like and you know what stopped me from going all that fast i had a judge i had a judge so i was constantly in court for these little tickets okay and girl that's you saw them bumps that's why my tires are fucked up because of this area i can't wait to leave and sell this car I, oh my god but girl so i got a judge right and that was the last time I went to court. First of all, that was the last time I got a ticket and the last time I went to court for a traffic violation. So I got this judge and I'll never forget this because for real, for real, like she didn't really scare me, but I realized like, girl, you have to stop playing. Like you have to, because people are not playing with you, girl. Like you would have really thought that she has something personal against me. And maybe after looking at my driving record, she did. She was like, First of all, she embarrassed me in court. That was one. <laughs> so she was just like, you know, some people, they never, they go their whole lives without getting speeding tickets. And you've gotten five in the span of two to three years. And I was just like, you don't have to read me for filth. Like, I'm just a girl. Like, I don't know. She was like, if I ever get a speeding ticket again and I come back to court, she is going to personally cut up my license and find me $500. And, and and lo and behold i've never gotten a speeding ticket ever since like camera tickets yes but pulling over absolutely not i don't get pulled over no more like that i don't even play those reindeer games because there's and and, and as my frontal lobe developed i realized there's no reason to drive that fast there's just no reason especially when there's no emergency like there's no reason girl slow down right, right, right. stuff in here but i finally was able to move all my stuff out into my storage unit so that we ain't got no more excuses you know what i'm saying so i don't know what it was about the coffee i had earlier but i'm getting nauseous like i need to eat some food um so i'm about to go home and get me a little something to eat and then i'm gonna pack clean up and get out of here my goal is to be on the road by like one like one at the latest so it's 11 girl and um i've been up since like 2 30 again i'm so sleep deprived like and then another thing that's been on my mind is shout out to the girlies who can actually like run errands and like care about what they look like while they're running errands me personally that is not my ministry um because I just feel like, like, cause some people, I, I understand why some people do it. Some people do it for themselves. Some people do it because you never know who you're going to run into. Me personally, I don't want, I look, when I have stuff to do, I don't be wanting to look approachable at all because please don't talk to me. Please don't stop me. I am on a mission. And if you distract me, I'll be distracted for the rest of the day because obviously like also I try to get my errands done early in the morning so that nobody sees me anyway. Um, so, and which I did today. But ain't nobody looking for me at the laundromat or the car wash, so girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't looking for nobody there either, period. <laughs> Back again with my scarf. So it is Sunday now. So yesterday I went to that cue party that I talked about. But girl, literally like, I was not ready so I got there and I wasn't sure if I was gonna go then my dad was like okay we got you a ticket so then I got dressed but then he started rushing me so I was not ready and my hair looks so, my hair was a mess and honestly I had an attitude girl Jesus, are these just the prices here oh <laughs> sorry <laughs> gas is so expensive <laughs> Compared to Jackson, yes. <laughs> yes, Jamil, it's like maybe two dot two eighty in Jackson. You're lying. I really, really thought that like no, uh, like that's why I was like, should we go here or is there somewhere cheaper? <laughs> Girl, Jackson is not a real place. This is a real place because this is the price in Maryland. 
345? Yes. Oh, she takes 87. <laughs> and we got a passenger in the Emerson. back. Well, I guess I'm the passenger. Say hi. <laughs> but yeah, so I had an attitude because I just look crazy. I'm gonna insert a picture because I sent it. I sent it to somebody. Like I had an attitude. My hair was half done. I was so mad. But um, also there was just a lot of people there, so I just didn't vlog because like they're old people. They don't want no camera in their face. But yeah, me and Tiff. Do you mind to be on the vlog? I don't mind. Hello. Hello. We are going to New York for Sierra's birthday today. Birthday. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> So we're driving up there right now. Got to go find coffee That's in the sort. Correct. I'm excited. I haven't done anything spontaneous in a while. Oh, this is good. <clears throat> yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, guys. We made it. We made it. Little Emerson. <laughs> The rooftop, and hopefully they don't charge us an arm and a leg. <laughs> We're laughing, but they most definitely charged us. I would say an arm and a leg. It was twenty dollars a person. I personally think that's crazy, um, as a DC girly. But you know, when in New York, I guess, I guess. <laughs> I got a little, you keep the I got a little catfish sandwich and some fries. Please try to get So y'all, the rest of this night was kind of blurry and I had to cut um, the dinner scene short because we were playing Never Have I Ever and the girls was spilling tea or whatever. So, you know, um, but we left the city like somebody was chasing us bro tiffany's socially social battery died and you know the rbf was coming out real strong so um yeah my good sis called an uber and we hit the road we went back to sierra's place cleaned up a little grabbed emmy her dog grabbed our stuff and then she was like oh let's clean up so we're cleaning up and then i drop a glass so then we have to clean that up it's just a whole thing um we get home and the, the drive was like two hours, which looking back, I was not prepared for. But we made it. I talked Tiffany's head off the whole time. She had a companion, make sure she was alert. And we made it. And then um, this next part is the next morning. I woke up and told my dad I was about to hit the road. And he was like, wait, I need a ride somewhere. So yeah, fast forward. This is what's happening now. This is me getting my payback for my dad rushing me. Dad! Dad, come on. Dad, come on. Dad, come on. Let's go. We got to go right now. Come on. Come on. Come on, Dad. I got to be on the I-10 by 10. Come on, Dad. Let's go. Let's go. This is payback for rushing me for the Q event. Let's go. 
the Q event. You said 10 minutes and two minutes later started rushing me. Let's go. I gotta be on the I-10 by 10. <laughs> so my dad always complains that my car is dirty. So let's see if he notices that I got it cleaned out because it's rarely cleaned out when he gets in here. Let's see. I got some. Let's see what he says. Have some water. You should pull away. <clears throat> and I wonder if he notices that I got my camera fixed. Oh, guys. So it is the next day. I have to drive back home. Um, I'm supposed to be meeting up with Lauren today to go to the pool and stuff. I was gonna like dive in, but girl, I'm gonna just put my little toesies in and then I'm probably gonna go home to get ready for the week. Oh, thank God that tomorrow is not Monday. I don't have to go nowhere or do nothing. Ooh, but I think next week I'm about to get back in the gym for real like seriously i've been working out here and there um but i feel like i'm ready to lock in and and really like get my fitness together and start prioritizing it because that's been a goal of mine to really like start developing better habits for to prepare for year 30 because there are certain things that i do now that i told myself my cutoff is my birthday this year to stop because I don't want to take it into my final year of my 20s because I don't want to carry it into my 30s and I feel like my final year of my 20s is the year that I really need to get my lifestyle and my habits together so that I can thrive in my 30s and not have the same issues that I had in my 20s or like maybe not issues maybe issues is not the word but um so I don't have the same trials and tribulations in my 30s because we're moving on up. We're escalating to a new level. We are getting new goals, checking new things off the list, and I'm looking forward to it. Let's see if he notices my car's clean. Hold on. Whose car are you stealing? <laughs> this is my car. No. Notice anything different about it? It ain't yours. It is mine. It is not. <laughs> Why you say that? Can you like, get my easy pass? I can't reach it. Thank you. It ain't your car. Why you say that? Baby? Uh-huh. I've known you all your life. What are you saying? I've like, never, I've never known you to have a clean car ever. That's crazy. Ever. And I got my backup camera fixed. What the hell? Go straight. What are you doing? Oh, um, can we get coffee? Where you want to get coffee from? I don't know, Dunkin'. Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah. All right, there's a Dunkin' on the way. Okay. Actually, no. There's a what's the name on the way? Do you want regular air or AC? It's up to you. Okay. Are you hot, cold? No, I'm not. Okay. Make her right. Okie doke. 